Hey everybody, it's Edgewind here for uh, Edge's Cutting Review with a continuation on our uh, Atlanta Cutlery Sale. I got me a couple of neat items here and I want to talk about two. Now this first one, I'm really excited about. I don't get much surplus stuff, but when I do, I really try and go out of my way to find something good. I have a lot of trepidations about ordering surplus online because I can't see it firsthand and I don't know what I'm getting. But by going to the sale, I, I saw this in person picked it up, examined it, and I went with it. What this is, is an East German Soviet Union issue AK-47 bayonet. Now, it's a little bit of a struggle to pull out the sheath. The sheath I'll get to in a minute, because the sheath is really cool. But the blade is really nice. For, for stamped steel, it's in really great shape. The edge was all right. I put a little bit of a better edge on it, which suits me just fine. Um, it's got the bayonet ring point that fucking blade at myself it's a little scary but I, one, one thing I really find cool about AK bayonets is with uh, US style bayonets you keep the tip pointed down like this but with these ones when it goes on the AK it goes like that which I find just really interesting you know it stands out a lot it's got a nice little ring right here cuts the weight down and I'm sure you know someone out there who's a little more tactical minded than I can think of some uses for that you've got a saw right here which, uh, you know, obviously for sawing, if you, if you have uh, Everstrike matches, you know, the, the magnesium ones, those are really good for striking against there, getting it going. The handle itself is in pretty decent shape. This is used. I, I would like to point that out. This was issued to an East German soldier at some point, and it was in the storage. And I guess Atlanta Cutlery or Museum Replica, really they're one and the same, they, uh, they found these crates somewhere they order them they busted them open and these were what was inside and the, uh, the handle there you can see it's got a nice little ridge here so this is where your barrel goes and all that when you sl when you slide and lock it in now the sheath itself is I'm really impressed with it it's you know it's, it's not like real fancy like I know a lot of modern bayonets they get you know mold injection mold injected sheaths around a you know a glass filled nylon interior or steel or whatnot this is just really simple stamp steel with you know practical industrial rubber grip right here makes it real sturdy and it's got a wire cutter here in the handle or the handle the base of the sheet here excuse me you know really good for obviously cutting wire and uh, one thing I just love about uh, Russians is uh, they keep things very practical when you know some even the clip for uh, for the sh for the handle here, um, it doesn't actually. The, this doesn't actually click into anything. They just cut a hole in the leather here, and you just poke it through, and that's it. And it's ready to go. And I'm just really, really happy with this. All I need now is the AK-47 to go with it. And uh, this. I don't normally buy off-brand knives, but if it's got a good sturdy feel to it, if it feels neat in the hand, good in the hand, and if it looks neat, you know, it's I'm not into aesthetics, but if it looks the part of a, of a functioning knife, I'll go with it. And this is really good. And this is, uh, the only thing we've seen on the blade is that it's called first production, and I don't know if that means this is some kind of prototype or anything like that. Um, here, I'm going to hold this up just so they, if the camera can zoom in. If anybody can tell me anything about this knife, if First Production is the company name, or if this is some kind of prototype to another knife brand or something, let me know because... It's on the other side. Oh, this nice. Because um, it's really nice. I mean, the blade design itself reminds me of my K-Bar. It really does. And I'm, I'm wondering if it's some kind of either K-Bar knockoff or some kind of k-bar folding knife prototype that's you know maybe this became the uh, k-bar mule or something it's got a nice little bit of uh paracord right here really good lanyard so that's good the the lot the spring assist mechanism is really really nice because i can just go I, I don't have to really put any effort into that at all and it's got pocket clips so i can put it if it's in my pocket i can just and i'm good to go which is really good and it just it feels heavy this is a this is a it's a heavy sounding knife the light the lock here is linear so all I gotta do is push and it closes so it's really easy you open push and close but uh, those are the two blades I'm really satisfied with thanks for watching this video Ofendo Cyrus